everything everywhere, guys. So it must be project day, isn't it, hey? Got something special for you today. We're gonna to try and harness the power of our composting. Get a new load of cassava skin delivered. We've got some biochar made up. Did it this morning, lastminute.com, true to form. I'm gonna get my hyacinth out of the pond. And when we get the cassava delivered here, we're gonna make a pile just here. Here where I've put the remainder of the previous burner biochar down. I'm gonna sort of put double the amount down there. Cassava skin is gonna go on top of that. Uh, and then layer it with the hyacinth. And putting into the heart of that, our leftover irrigation pipe work. I spent about 10 minutes trying to uncoil that this morning. Worst job on the farm. Uh, there's probably a technique to use that it doesn't get all tangled and kinked, uh, but I use the swearing and cursing technique and uh, jobs are good. And uh, I've just chopped up a couple of little wooden posts. Uh, I'm going to pop them all around in, in a circular shape there, wrap the hose around, compost on, and then we're going to set up a bit of pipe work to take it into the shower room. Now we have got an electrical shower, uh, we didn't bother wiring it in because well basically our solar system has never been beefed up enough to, to cope with it. The cold showers are, are taking its toll on our aging bodies. Uh, sometimes it's a bit warm when it first comes through the pipe depending on how the day has been but generally we, we shower just before before bedtime because we spend most of the time outside so we're howling all day long and there's no point in showering and having dinner because you put all your mozzie lotion on, so we're showering late at night and uh, it's a shock to the system. The old nuts go up to here and the old fella looks like a little acorn when he get out of the shower every night, which isn't, it's not nice for the wife to see, is it? So we need some warm water, don't we? Now we were trying to get a humongous delivery of cassava skin delivered. We're only having three tonne delivered, which sounds a huge amount, but for our farm, it is not. So uh, it, it comes down to the price of the trucks. We're trying to get a double truck load in one go and they can't fit through the gates. Well, they can fit through the gates, but there's not enough turning area for them to come in. So we've got one of our friends who's got the fantastic name of Supergong. Yeah, that's right, Supergong. He's got uh, Idan, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically one of those top tocks engines and they turn it on the side and they, they bolt it onto a truck and they use it on the farms for transporting cassava, rice, eucalyptus, that sort of stuff. So he's bought that this morning and he's, he's put some netting up the side and he reckons he can get about three tonne. So he's just going to do one trip today. Uh, whereas the big truck, we were quoted 2,800 baht for one trip and that's about, well when we had the soil moved around that was eight scoops in each one so we had one scoop in our truck which was just shy of a shy of one ton so it's just too expensive we, we were better off paying this guy to do three trips and get the nine nine scoops that way but, so we thought for this one because my initial uh, test compost pile is is still in its infancy i don't want him to go and do three or four trips and make this huge pile until i've really picked to pieces this compost pile and um you know got in my head what tweaks that need to be need to be made to make really good finished compost on a, on a large scale so i thought this three ton size compost pile would be a good intermediate one and why not harness the power of the the heat that's generated from the compost what day are we now day four each morning I lift the lid on the old compost or the cover that I've got over it and there's loads of steam coming off it. It is really, really hot. It's hot to touch just on the top. So never mind what it's going to be like inside. Probably going to be too hot, but we'll just mix it with the cool water. How long I can keep it hot, I, I don't know. There's, there's different ways of keeping your compost pile hot, even if it means putting a bucket or two of diluted urine on it every day. Um, so be it, or keep on adding greens as well. Um, you know, at, at regular intervals, or when everything's rotted down and or composted down rather, and the heat drops down, rather than keep on fiddling with it, maybe just put that on the land and then start a new batch. So down here, my lovely wife 
there isn't a goat. All right, Lily. All right, girl. Lovely girl, aren't you? Uh, yeah, Toon helped me quench this this morning. So I'm quite surprised, but then again, it involved water and she, she likes playing with water. So that's all quenched. The last bucket of water that we bunged on there was diluted urine, which is a way of activating the charcoal. So it's all nicely fractured from quenching it. Uh, and that will be interspersed with the cassava skins and the hyacinth. Right, so my next job is to get a, a load of hyacinth ready. So I'm gonna use the pickup truck. I'm gonna reverse right up as close as I can to the catfish pond without reversing into it because I won't get out alive. They're hungry buggers. I fill that up and then reverse it up to the area that is gonna drop the uh, all the cassava skins off. So we'll see how it goes. The timing wise, I'm, I'm up against it. It was just last night. We'd already asked him to to come and, and do this for us. And then last night I was, I was just thinking, do you know what? I, I can't take many more of these cold showers. So I started looking on YouTube and thought, it didn't look bloody difficult, that, making hot water for your shower out of compost. So I thought, right, I'll get up early, do my biochar, get the hyacinth, but lastminute.com, as I say. I wouldn't eat that chestnut. It's got my pee pee in it. Thank okay. you. Yay. Well, you'll have to excuse me, but I really am busy. Look at that, husband and wife in perfect harmony. I'm recording, Toon's doing the heavy work. Right then, just talk you through this, very basic setup. Uh, quite a nice liberal application on the bottom of, of activated charcoal. So it's not inoculated, it'll inoculate once everything else starts composting down and there. Uh, but it's activated because it's 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 fractured from the quenching. Uh, the reason we started off with that at the bottom is because to get a compost pile to maximum heat, which is what we're after obviously for the shower, uh, it needs a lot of oxygen. So the bottom can become the bottom of a compost pile can become starved of oxygen. So if you put your biochar at the bottom first layer, uh, that traps loads of oxygen. I've also got some pipes over there which are pretty pants now, they're quite old, so I'm going to insert a few of those. Whether that actually works or not, a few people are convinced it does, uh, but hopefully it'll it'll draw a little bit of air into the centre of the, the compost heap. So we've got the hyacinth, first full big load, and we're going to go really heavy on the greens. So the, your greens are your nitrogen, of course. The more nitrogen you've got in your pile, the hotter it gets. We don't want it to go slimy and mouldy, but I think we can get quite a lot in there quite easily. Uh, the good thing about this is the more we put in here, the less we're going to have to water it as well. Uh, but we've got the hose set up as well. Uh, I dare say we'll be topping it up as we go along. Hey, it's a sweaty job. I'll need a, I'll need a cold shower after this. <laughs> first good layer of hyacinth in there. I've learnt from the first pile, put the roots on the extremity of the layer and the green stuff shooting in. Otherwise, if it's all over the place, when you put the your carbon layer on so for us it's the the cassava skins they all the leaves stick out like like bloody spider's legs so it's it's it makes it a little bit more tricky to get it all covered so i'm going to pop my sticks in here now uh, and then the cassava skin is going to start coming on as super gong is doing that if i've got time well it won't take very long anyway i'm going to pop my giant slinky pipe work in there cover it up now you, the way i've seen it on on the internet is they they put more of the slinky in the pipe work as the pile gets higher and higher i'm not going to fanny around i reckon this is going to get red hot so i'm just going to put the whole thing in in one big coil uh, leave the two ends poking out so we can attach the blue pipe so we've got a bit of jiggery pokery doing there uh, and then just layer it so i'm going to get a few buckets of biochar ready i need to get elvis our nissan big m out of the way driving back down there and Back him up again, right next to the walking catfish pond, ready to get some more hyacinth. I might put a little bit more in. It's a good opportunity until he gets here. Then I'm going to have a coffee with Toon. If he's still not back by then, I can't resist that. I might go and rake up some leaves and put them in there. Right then, crack on, Lee. Super Gong made it back. <laughs> very gingerly, because it was very heavy. Four and a quarter ton. So now... Is the hard bit getting it out? All included in the price, though. But I do feel a bit bad for him, so I'm going to give him a hand. 
Wow, wow, wow. That is still quiet for 50,000. 50,000 for the whole thing? Oh, it can dry like that. With the engine as well? Oh. oh. You can't buy like that. Well, he bought it like that. Let Super Kong and Super Lee working. Not me. So hot. No, Mark. But I work all this, you know. Quite jealous, this young man. Mr. Lee can't wait for me to break. Lee? Yeah. No, am I? No, I need no. Good, no. keep working. I'm not mark mark. I'm break now. Keep doing your job. Do what I tell. Now. <laughs> Who tell you to stop? No, huh? Stop. Lazy boy. <laughs> he try make hot heat for me. But I tell you what, guy, if this not work, I'm gonna tell him to shower with the naked outside the house. I tell you. Of course it'll work. I'm a professional. I fucking hope so. I let him do everything because I don't know what the heck is that happen. It's like he like to play, play around. But this ouch a lot. <laughs> what an old workhorse. We've chopped this old tree down here. We normally just give the branches to the goats anyway. So he's going to open the side up. Right. The giant slinky is in position for my strategically positioned stakes. Two ends coming out here and then we'll hook that up to the main water pipe from the, from the water holding tank. It's got a Mitsubishi pump hooked up to it. All it's left to do now is put another layer of hyacinth on there and then another layer of cassava to finish it off. Wet it down a little bit. It's already wet, so not too bad. Uh, and then cover it up and let's see how hot we can get it. Now you can see we have got some fresh cassava skin in here and there's some big, big bits like that, which obviously take a bit longer to break down. But a lot of it, is already finished like that. so it's nowhere near as hot as the other stuff now I did over here tune saying to super gong that uh, if this doesn't produce hot water for the shower I'm gonna get a slap so it's win-win for me isn't it? <laughs> if it works I get a hot shower uh, if it doesn't work then uh, I get a bit of a slap so there's a few things that we need to do to try and 
get this compost pile cooking. Uh, the first thing is a lot of oxygen so you know if it was an existing pile then you'd turn it to introduce more more oxygen. Well the, the heavy loader has just been tipping this into the into the truck and then we've pulled it out and then we've positioned it on there so it's got plenty of oxygen in to start with. We've gone heavy on the biochar which will of course put higher levels of oxygen in there. Surface area of a biochar is mind-boggling. In addition to that I've got my pipes. So I've got four pipes going into the heart of the, the pile so hopefully that's going to help get the core nice and hot. The next thing is of course the greens so put plenty of hyacinth in there. There's another layer to go there uh, but I'm putting even more even more in there. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to use all my urine as well. So they're the, they're the main things and the, the other thing well really is um, the water content. All that bacteria in there is working really hard and it, it, it basically needs a drink to keep doing its job. Now the hyacinth of course is incredibly wet. The biochar that we put in there is already wet from, uh, from quenching it. It was almost submerged in it. Uh, the, the compost itself, well, the, the cassava skin that's half composted down, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's sodden, but it is, it is quite wet. So there's the four things that we've, we've done to try and make this pile hot enough to, to get a decent shower out of it. So the, the greens for your nitrogen, the oxygen with the biochar and the pipes. I'm not going to turn this. I really don't want to be getting involved in turning it, obviously because of all the, the coil pipes in there. We've got the nitrogen rich urine and then the moisture content on top of that. I am going to cover it up as well. Then hopefully minutes aren't going to end up in my throat and my, my penis won't shrink to the size of an acorn when I have a shower late at night. Tuna's helped a lot today that's really good it's just approaching one o'clock and uh, it's time to go and get the goat food so she's just pootled off on uh, Ben her chariot she's gonna pick her mum up once she drags her mum back here then uh, we'll be off and go and get the katin food I think we'll be getting um, Kai up from school as well because Toon's nephew's uh, got some work away at the moment so It'll be the school run as well, the school pickup. So I dare say we'll get dragged down to the sweetie shop on the way back. That's uh, all good. Right, uh, price-wise, um, 100 baht per kg. Uh, 100 baht per kg, that would have been expensive, wouldn't it? 100 baht per ton for the cassava skin. Uh, and then Super Gong, he charges 150 baht per ton. So all in all, say 1,100 baht. For, for four tons delivered. Yeah, we could have got a bigger load in one go from a big truck that could, I, I would say that they'd bring about nine or 10, 10 ton, but it works out a little bit more expensive and they can't get, it, they wouldn't have been able to get in where we are now, would have had to ferry it here. And it needed to be here next to where we have the shower. I got to to ask Super Gong if he can come back in about three or four days and we're gonna come, going to start positioning these piles uh, around the around the farm strategically positioned and then when they're ready put them around the the palms so make like a huge donut ring around them not right up to the to the main stem but you know probably come out a foot or two I don't know it's it's, it's composted down so much uh, I know there's a little bit of brown in there but I don't know whether you can just put it straight on. What do you reckon, guys? Sort of like finishing off your compost in situ. I, I don't know. I'd like to, to make it like a foot deep or a couple of foot deep all around each palm. But, um, what I might do is just have a look at uh, what heat is generated in the piles that have just got the cassava skin. Because obviously it's been all, all jostled around at the moment and narrated. And it's pretty wet, so I don't know if it's not too hot. Maybe I can bung it straight round the round the palms. That would just be awesome. I don't know. Now, um, there is one thing that you may have noticed 
and you're just thinking, Lee, you're flipping numpty, you forgot all your goat manure in. Well, it's true, I am I am a bit of a numpty, but I've, I've omitted the, the goat manure intentionally. And basically because I need to save my goat muck for one huge uh, compost pile. Uh, we, we just simply haven't got enough because I've been using loads in the raised beds. So our, our soil is so terrible here. It, it needs a lot of goodness pumping into it. So the next the next pile, pile three, will be the the biggie, and 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 I want my I want my muck for that. If I started putting manure in this cassava skin that we've got left over, I don't think I could. Sh I'm creating a proper compost pile then, aren't I, to some degree? And um, I'm not sure about putting it around the palms then. I don't know because it's cold compost, isn't it? Go goat manure tell me what you think could just put it around a couple of palms and see how it goes but it's it's so so dry now and um it's not great water in it all but um we'll see eh just pop it just pop it in the comments and uh and then we'll make an executive decision lee once it's all finished i'll give you an update very soon Ta -da. Mm -hmm.